Yo, what's up guys, Cody here, back at a new video, and in today's video, I'll be telling you guys the top 10 things that you should must buy in Blocks Fruits. This list is going to be including Devil Fruit, Swords, Accessories, Secret Methods, and a lot more. So make sure to comment down below if you guys learned something new, and what did you learn? Also, I think if you guys do every single thing that I tell in this video, this will definitely improve your gameplay and make you a better player or at least help you get better super, super easily. So yeah, I think without wasting any more time, let's get right into it. So at number 10, we have the Hunter's Cape. As you guys can see, these capes come in three variants, the black, green, and red. Basically, they all have the same buff, which is actually pretty OP in PvP and also can help you guys farm as well. Personally, I like to use the black one because it just matches my outfit, but um, yeah, it doesn't really make a difference. And then as you guys can see, it gives you 80% faster run speed, 10% more damage on melee, sword, slash gun, and 750 health, which is just a really OP accessory. And I would definitely recommend you guys to get this. And if you are PvPing, trust me, you're gonna thank me later. Alright, so at number 9, we have Kabucha. This is a gun, as you guys would already know, um, a really, really good gun, especially if you guys are looking to do some combos. Mainly, this weapon is used for its intense wind move, which just pushes your opponent back in a straight line and can be used to do some insane combos. And the best thing is, it is not even that expensive. It's like 1,500 fragments, which is basically super cheap for this weapon. This is my go-to gun when I am bounty hunting and a lot of people actually use this as well. So yeah, if you guys are looking to do some combos, um, I would definitely recommend you guys to use Kabucha. Alright, then at number 8, we have the Awakened Dark. Currently, I am also using this Devil Fruit. That is not because I wanted to show you guys this, but... It is due to the reason that I actually use this Devil Fruit on a daily basis. Basically, the main reason why I'm telling you guys to use this Devil Fruit is that it has pretty good stunning abilities. So if you guys want to stun your opponent, you guys can. It will teach you a lot about the PvP in Blocks Fruits. Or personally, I think of it like this. For me, this Devil Fruit has improved me in PvP a lot. It has teached me a lot of things. It has made my predictions a lot more better. Also, teached me the way of a lot of combos, which is very, very good in Blocks Fruits PvP, as you guys would already know. I would say there are only like a few different Devil Fruits which can help you learn in the game. For example, if you were bounty hunting with Dragon, that's not gonna teach you a lot. You're just gonna be spamming, spamming, spamming. Yes, I know you're gonna be earning bounty, but what's the point? You're not gonna be learning anything. Whenever you change your devil fruit from the dragon, you are literally going to get clapped. So that's why I would recommend you guys to use dark because this devil fruit teaches you a lot. It will teach you how to use your teleportation skills, how to stun your opponents, how to do combos and a lot more. So that's why I would say awakened dark is a pretty good choice to go for. And if you guys don't like awakened dark, you can always go for another devil fruit like awakened rumble or mice even doe. Those devil fruits are pretty good for the same purpose. Moving on into the number 7th thing, which is Soul Cane. Yes, Soul Cane. Let me just equip it and I'll show you guys. So Soul Cane is right here, as you guys can see. Um, a really, really easy weapon to obtain. I think it just costs you a bit of belly in the first C, which is very rare. Imagine using a first C item in the third C. That, that, that shows how good this weapon really is. But yeah, the main purpose of this sword is its stunning abilities. The Z move of this sword is extremely OP in bouncy hunting. For example, for example, if I was using dark, I could use soul Kin very nicely with this. I usually use this sword, but currently I'm using Canwender because I'm a swordsman as you guys can see. So yeah, I need the damage and uh, Canwender is actually a pretty good sword for that. But I would definitely recommend you guys to try try out soul cane before we continue into the video why haven't you guys subscribed to the channel already hurry up subscribe let's get to 18k subscribers as soon as possible or i'm simply gonna hack your account and um uh steal robux okay anyways moving on into the next thing that you guys should have is game passes and a lot of and a lot of people would be like whoa, whoa what are you saying they cost robux it's not a free to play thing or something like that no, you guys can get game passes with trading. Yes, I really like Blocks Fruits for this edition because, for example, if you guys don't have any Robux, you guys are a free-to-play player. If you have good fruits in the game, you know how to get good fruits, either buy it from the cousin or get it from like the random st 
stuff that you do for Devil Fruits, you can just literally trade them for game passes. And I'm not even kidding, I got like two or three game passes and it's a really good method of getting game passes and will definitely help you a lot in the game. For example, if you guys get the times 2 money game pass, obviously that's gonna get you a lot more belly and it's gonna be very very easy for you to grind that. So I would definitely recommend you guys to trade for these. So at number 5 we have Awakened Buddha. As you guys would already know, Buddha is the best devil fruit to farm with. Even if you are farming mastery or you are killing bosses, Buddha is the one to go for. The main thing which makes this devil fruit really good is its defensive abilities and also the thing is that the hitbox is very weird. So mostly a lot of people can't actually hit you, like the NPCs just don't even hit you. So you can just grind super easily, just punch them repeatedly and you can just farm levels super super easily. And also I would like to mention something that a lot of people fully awaken their Buddha and think that that is worth it. I would rather upgrade only one of its moves to just get the new awakened Buddha because that one has some bigger hitbox and it's a bit more faster and has like a bit more defensive properties. So like awaken one of its moves and that's it. Like just go and grind and um, don't need to worry about anything else. So yeah, definitely if you guys are grinding or doing something like that, which I mentioned, um, yeah, definitely get Buddha. At number 4, we have Canwender. This sword is really, really, really good for PvP. If you guys remember from the past, like in the second C, Shisui was a really good sword to PvP with and is at the moment as well. As you guys can see, a really OP sword to be PvPing with. But the thing is that everybody knew how to counter Shisui. They would just can trick it or stuff like that. And with the addition of the can render into the game, and I think that was like a super good update for the sword means. Because this sword is just basically like Shisui, but I would say a bit more better. And definitely a bit more faster as well. Easily, I would say the best sword in the game. Because you can just one tap your opponent in like what, two or three seconds, which is just insane. So yeah, I would definitely recommend you guys to get Canvander. So yeah, I think it's time to move on into the next item, which is SDM Rifle or Soul Guitar. I, as you guys can see, I have SDM Rifle and I like using this more than the Soul Guitar. Um, and I also have it upgraded, which is just too toxic to be honest. Like if you guys are a gunman and you use upgraded SDM Rifle, trust me, you're getting free bounty. Easiest one tap combos in the whole game, if you ask me. And also the thing is that SDM Rifle is not even that hard to obtain. Just kill like factory a couple of times and you're gonna get it really, really easily. So yeah, I think you guys should try out the SDM Rifle. It's a very good item to have. So the second last thing that you should definitely do in this game is buy items from the Haunted Castle. Let me go there and I'll show you guys one second. So we are here and um, let me just go to that NPC that I was talking about. You guys can just simply spend your bones and then this guy would give you fragments or a couple of different things basically depending on your luck. So yeah, you just do this random surprise and as you guys can see, I rolled some money. Um, If I do a bit more, as you guys can see, some fragments. So as you guys can see, you can even get your times to EXP. Um, So if you are about to farm or something, come here, get your two times EXP and then go farm and it will be twice as fast. Then at number one or the last thing that I'm going to be telling you guys is that get god human um god human is actually a very good fighting style like when it came out i was a bit disappointed but now that i use it daily i think it's actually a very solid fighting style and i really really like using it also the thing is in getting this fighting style you would have unlocked every single fighting style in the game and have got it up to at least 300 mastery which is actually a really good thing to have in the game like having every single fighting style in the game you can switch whenever you want and stuff like that so yeah definitely recommend you guys to get the god human fighting style and if you guys didn't notice already i didn't mention any races or stuff like that because the race v4 is still a secret so i don't want to ruin the video by saying get race v3 because i don't know maybe v4 comes out like what in like a week or something and then i would have to redo the videos so that's why i'm not talking about races but everything else in the game is discussed in this video so yeah thank you guys so much for watching that was the list and if you guys still haven't subscribed to the channel bro what are you even doing go hit the subscribe button and um yeah i'll definitely see you guys in the next video peace